be quite the fun video because I'm going to be pointing out all the funniest parts of Avatar, or at least the parts that were funniest to me. The very beginning when everyone is wearing masks because you think the air is not clean, but then you have people like these broads who are wearing them because... They're coming from the theater? I, I, I have no idea. I don't even have a- I don't really get this. Why people are donning the horror movie masks. Freaking Bane over here. I wonder if it helps them breathe better. I don't think it does. <laughs> I didn't even realize the first time around that these masks must really have a different kind of meaning because people are just wearing them around like accessories. It looks freaking creepy. <laughs> And I don't know why, but when his brother is being incinerated and then it transitions to the twin that's not, I just... <laughs> I know that's not technically funny, but for me, it just sent me. I don't know why. I can't even explain to you guys why it's hilarious. It just is. The ship looks like a tennis ball holder. Another thing I found funny is Norm's avatar and how it just happens to look very strange. He is the only person who has a Navi that has a pizza nose. I also found this scene funny because of how uncomfortable it was and how she tried to play it off when the character Grace is introduced and she's upset because the main character's twin brother is dead and he was the one who trained for the mission. I understand her frustration, but she doesn't even think for one moment that the guy lost his brother and like his response and how freaking awkward it is is so hilarious this is jake sully yeah 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 i know who you are and i don't need you i need your brother you know the phd who trained for three years for this mission he's dead i know it's a big inconvenience for everyone <laughs> what the fuck was that <laughs> the fruit scene Oh. Well, he bites into it like it's pussy. When Jake is playing with his freaking tail thing. You play with that, you'll go blind. That's kind of freaky. <laughs> it's like the only thing he says, and he doesn't ever ask any more questions after that. I would think that, okay, I have an alien body and it's all weird looking, but what the shit is this coming out of my hair? Is that like their version of some kind of biological on the body ass wiping mechanism? Because otherwise I would have a lot of questions. Then again, he's a Marine. I don't... I guess they're not trained to ask questions? I don't know, you guys tell me. The way the general puts on his mech and does that freaking one-two like he's showing off. And then the way the general puts his hand on the, <laughs> the machine's hips. <laughs> that's some very good, programmically, that's very good coordination for you to put your hands on your hips and the machine know to put its hands on its hips. Why do machines have hips? Whatever. Why would the mech ever need to do this position? <laughs> I just wonder, in my mind, imagine a whole host, a whole fleet of mechs walking into a room with their freaking hands on their hips. I know I'm stupid. See to it, you get your legs back when you rotate home. Your real legs. <laughs> Those are his real legs. I know that shouldn't be as funny as it is, but you imagine going up to someone who's crippled and being like, man, what happened to your legs? You need some real legs, bro. The way the stirred beast or whatever it's called is with all his girls and they're drinking and then he just roars for seemingly no reason. Man, this water's some good shit. And I know I mentioned this already, but oh my God, James Cameron, I know you wanted to direct Jurassic Park, but why? Why oh why? Were you trying to prove something to Steven Spielberg when you used the sounds of the freaking iconic dinosaurs from his franchise in your creatures? <laughs> Wow, trying to say something there, bro? As I said before, nobody's gonna look at this movie and be like, damn, that's the roar from that fan or panther looking shit from Avatar. Everyone like me is probably going, why the hell did you use the T-Rex roar from Jurassic Park? Same thing with the other creatures, those stupid horse things that they ride. <laughs> 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 literally just pitch down no shade whatsoever even when it's breathing it sounds like the velociraptors <laughs> also the fact that the viper wolves sound just like hyenas <laughs> the part and the sound that the seeds make when jake hits them away Dana. Ow! 
Oh. <laughs> he uses his other hand. <laughs> Oh my god. I know, my sense of humor is weird. This strange look and imagine being in that situation when you're like, oh god, these glowing spider seeds are all over me and I have to stay perfectly still for what reason? Also, the way Natiri's mom greets him. What are you called? Ow! They never explain why she does that. Like, she literally just bites him with her little needle thing, tastes his blood, and they make a big show of it by zooming into her face, but never explain what the whole purpose of that was. To this day, no deleted scene that I have seen even tells me why, and I am so curious because it was so freaking random. It's hilarious when he steps on the tails of the natives. <sighs> Oops, sorry. Shouldn't leave that old thing lying around. <laughs> Sutsi, Sutsi, what the frick is his name? Sutsi, um, freaking hell, dude. Um, Sutsi, Sut, Pfau. Sute. There you go. Sute. Sute's face when he sees Jake sitting beside Natiri. And the look on Jake's face after Natiri tells him her real name. I don't even know your name. You did it, the fuck? The part where Natiri teaches him how to fall. <laughs> And the falling is not even the funniest part, it's the way he gets up. It's all good. I got this. The hunting part. Honestly, it's not even funny. I mean, the creature looks funny, but I hate it. I hate it with a freaking passion. You have no idea. I have never seen an animal, at least not that I can remember, that enraged me in such a primal way to want to punch it in its goddamn face. Shut the f- What the fuck are you looking at? Oh, you saw me. <laughs> Stupid bitch ass skinny neck Botox looking idiot. I'm so glad he said that little prayer and let it suffer for a little bit longer instead of killing it right away. That part was kind of funny too because it's like, dude, you're telling it that you see it and that you respect it meanwhile it's suffering. Can't you do that after you stab it in the heart? But you know what? I think they probably didn't like it either, which is why they prolonged its suffering. And I'm here for it. Okay, now right, stab it, stab it, stab it, stab it. Yes! Fucking thing. Why are you guys so sociopathic? The scene where he tries to train his Ikran and it's so hilarious because before this point, like right around when the movie came out, a lot of people thought there's halo things that come out of their, their, their freaking heads, that those were their mating organs. They aren't, FYI, but it still looked kind of hilarious when we thought that because it almost seems like this creature is being, um, robbed. Can't say the word on YouTube. Look, it's literally being held down against its will and forced <laughs> into melding and becoming one with this person. What do you call that? It's a very odd way to train animals. And then on top of that, him saying this at the end just puts the icing on the cake. That's right. You're mine. Whoa, whoa, whoa. In any other context, this would look so freaking inappropriate. <laughs> it looks so inappropriate, like holding him down against his will. And then he's like, yeah, yeah, that's right. You're mine now. <laughs> or defend himself and this guy's straddling you forcing his freaking org come on dude everyone thought that scene was freaking cringe man and looking back at it now even though i know what is supposed to be happening here it's still freaking hilarious Hell yeah! Hell yeah! another thing i found really endearing and cute was how sexy the leonoptrix legs are i mean look at them dude if you want to tell someone or show someone what the word legs means Okay, I don't think I'm gonna reach everybody with this one. Never mind. This part was also really cute. The part where Jake and Natiri go before the tree, because now that Jake's one of the people, Natiri says that he can now make his bow from the wood of the home tree. I mean, where was he getting wood from somewhere else? And I didn't even notice this until recently, when I watched it recently, he actually pulled her tail, and I thought that was more so cute than funny. <laughs> 
So what are we doing? Natiri grabs him by the hand, and we all know where this is about to go. But she tells him that now that you're part of the people, you can choose your woman. Yeah. So she does the girly thing because she can't just come out and be like, um, I know what we said, but I want you so you can't have anybody else. Jake has to be the one to choose who he wants. So Natari, being the good person that she is, is like, well, we got lots of fine women here. And you may choose a woman. <laughs> Look how progressively she says it. <laughs> She's trying her hardest. She's trying so hard to not let him see how upset she is. She even turns her face around. Look at the scorn. Look at look at the disdain on her face. <laughs> and so he plays into it. He's like, well, sure. Don't mind if I do. We have many fine women. Ninat is the best singer. Oh, I don't want Ninat. Look at her face. <laughs> He's. <laughs> She's like, oh, really? <laughs> Well, now we're getting somewhere. She says that Bailal is a good hunter, and he agrees. Bailal is a good hunter. Yeah, she is a good hunter. What did you say, bitch, Nick? And then the part when they get some sucky sucky going on. That's the scene that led everyone to believe that when they put their stringy squid tentacles together, that means that they're procreating. <gasps> Then the part where Courage finds out that Jake is betraying the human race and he flies to the area where they're operating and currently in link progress with their navis. It's the audacity that Jake has after he already knew what was gonna happen, now he's pretending like he's the good guy. And the way that Courage punches him and the way Jake falls that makes him look like one of the characters falling in Family Guy. Get out of your goddamn mind! You crossed the line. <laughs> Oh my god, that looked like it hurt. It's the way that he fell, though. Another hilarious moment is when Grace tries to talk to the rich guy and telling him what this place means to the Navi. Memories at sites like the one you just destroyed. Yes. What the hell have you people been smoking out there? <laughs> That's her face, because she didn't expect that reaction. She thought she was going to appeal to his better nature, and it just didn't work. I feel so bad for her, but it's freaking hilarious. Then we have a segment when Jake tames his Leonopteryx, and he comes in to the Tree of Souls, or wherever it is they are, and he goes to Natiri, and that's when Natiri realizes, um, shit. Um, probably, probably shouldn't have left him to die. <laughs> probably. Please take me back! I love how he walks up to her like he's freaking god, like the Velociraptors walk up to the humans after they know that the humans had their eggs and he knows he has the advantage now and she's so freaking terrified but she's kind of like hotted out i know that's a weird word has the hots and then she makes this excuse which made me crack up so hard i was afraid jake for my people oh were you now where are you now? That's why you left me to die? Thanks a lot for that. I don't know how leaving me tied up and helpless when I'm the only avenue of conversation between the humans and your people was going to help your people. But I can't even really blame her though because I mean he did betray them, pretend to be one of them, and then hide vital information. He basically was a spy and lied to her about it. But he made sure he got the punani before that happened and before he revealed it. Then he goes to Sute <laughs> and Sute is like, <laughs> And he really wants to say something back to Jake. Like, uh, no, <laughs> you thought you were funny, but no, I don't want to help you. And then Jake doesn't have to do anything. His mount does all the talking. We can't do this without you. <laughs> Better watch what you say, boy. <laughs> the way he's swallowing. Another favorite scene of mine, and it was kind of hilarious, is when Trudy reprises her role as Dom's sister from Fast and the Furious. And man, I love Michelle Rodriguez because she plays the same character in every movie, but it's such an endearing character, and she makes me laugh every single time. Oops. Right there! I'm not the only one with a gun, bitch. <laughs> Her. And then finally, the grand finale. Actually, this is the second to last funniest scene. When Quaritch dies. <laughs> what the frick is he laughing at? <laughs> <laughs> I'm dying, how funny. <laughs> he's probably laughing because he knows he's going to come back in the next movie. And then, last 
but not least, the funniest scene in the entire movie. And it was cut from the main one, but oh boy, I have the extended copy, and I did share it on Twitter. Twitter. But every time I watch it, you take it out of context. It seems so freaking wrong, but it's so hilarious because of the way it plays out. <laughs> and, and that's the end. Oh my god. These are all my funniest moments of Avatar compiled. What an awesome movie, especially when you go back in time and watch how hilarious it is. Oh, I love it. What was your most enjoyable scene in the movie? Thanks so much for watching. This has been Ultiori. You ask, we answer.